So Run DMC's self-titled album, their first album, um, we decided to listen to that. And I think it's a cool juxtaposition to the Kendrick Lamar album as well. Because first off, my first thoughts on this album was that just as soon as it came on, I thought it was fun. Like as soon as, soon as Hard Times came on, I, I started, I wanted to nod my head, dance or whatever, you know? I, I, I liked it. So uh, what did you guys think of the album you, you first? Oh, first time I already can see you got hate. Go ahead, go ahead. I got a lot of hate for this album, man. Actually, I, not hate, more like I don't care about it. Like this to me is like when uh, a sports athlete, like you don't have to go back and watch Dr. J. You don't have to go back and watch these old players play in order for you to love the game. Um, it was good back then. It's not the same now. There's nothing that'll ever sound like it because music is better now than it was back then. So I don't need to go back to it. It was cool. Beats are simple, as they well, most of them are back in the day. I don't think they're simple. Just, I think the, the production was great. No, you didn't. It was very simple. I could make those beats right now with like three okay. instruments. It's super simple. So <laughs> yeah, even sound the same. Okay. Um. Just, I, I, uh. I look. I'm. I'm old. I mean, this album came out when I was the year I was born. So, um, I guess it's a few months before I was born. Um. So this album was super old, right? And I knew most of these songs, and I, I listened to this album probably like 20 years ago, straight through, really, since I was going back trying to listen to these different classics. But these, some of these songs on here, I mean, are super, super classic. Like, like beyond, I mean, when I think of like rock box, yeah, it's rock like box that. is classic. It's like, that. To, it's like that. It's like that's like the definition of hip hop to me almost. Like I don't know how um how Bryce can hate on that. I mean it, it's but I get it. I mean I, I, They're I don't super know classic. That's all because of my my Well, I think that the the beat on it is fantastic. I think the, the stuff that they're saying is is funny and it's interesting. So is Dr. J. I, I don't really understand the comparison. So the comparison I, I kinda understand what you're saying, but then it doesn't it doesn't to me match up. So Dr. J, if he came and played in the league now, I don't know if he would be as successful as maybe he was then. Um, but okay. I do think um, these songs no. are no still way. good in a party type of setting. I, I think that right. these songs are um, I disagree. So I don't know. I guess it really depends on the audience. Obviously, I'm old, so I don't know, but when I turn this, like I say, when I turn these songs on, there's only like two songs on here. I'm like, just ugh, I don't want to hear that. Uh, but and then you have like, see, the other thing is, you have songs on here that are, I think there's two or three of them where it's just Jam Master J. It's just one. It's just the last song. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, just the last song. Oh, it's just that one. It's just the last song. Real last right, song. Okay, you have Sucker MCs, of course. That's a classic, 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 classic. Yeah. Um, you know, reused a million times. Hard times, of course, everybody knows that. Rock box, love it. Uh Jam Master J. Um, is great. So yeah, you're right. Can you have Wake Up, which is um a one that you don't hear too much from I now. thought I thought that song was I, I don't yeah. know if I ever heard that song before. And I thought that song was very fun. I yeah. I, I loved it. I, I thought it was interesting. It's a positive message and I thought it was very fun. It's a positive message while still being fun and, and you know, like making me want to nod my head. Uh and then I did. I, I, I just, I mean, they're not the best rappers. So let's let's make the, let's get the obvious out of the way. They're average rapping. I mean, like their rapping is, you know, yeah, not even average. I mean, <laughs> I was say, that's what it was. It's super back simple, in the day. Right? Super simple, right? Yeah. No, so we can so we can talk about that because I, I actually listened to. Um, I wanted to make sure I was understanding or you know, looking at the time frame in the right way, so I listened to Houdini, um, Escape. I'm pretty sure it's called. So that's the album that came out the same year. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure it's called The Skate. And the, they're better rappers. Mm -hmm. Like, for sure. Like, Who, Houdini? Or, or, yeah, or, for Houdini. sure. Oh, okay. For sure better. Um, and then I listened to uh, the Furious Five uh, album as well that came out that year. The only thing with the, with the Furious Five is a lot of those songs were just like I couldn't do it. They were too hard. 
archaic, I guess, for me to even enjoy. Um, but the Houdini, I was slap. So I, I didn't really. I don't. I don't have. I, when I listen to it, I really like the Run DMC. They almost took it two different ways. Run DMC really takes it that '80s rock, and they're like, mm-hmm. "We do this. We could do this and do this like hip hop style." Yeah. And so that's like one of the things I like about it. Not many people are doing something like Rockbox. I don't know how many other hip hop groups ever even try to get on something that's like that guitar heavy and that type of guitar heavy and it's super eighties. Like, yeah, that's why. That's why when you say like the beats are simple, versus like you like that's that uh that rock like sample that dum, dum, like all that. This is cool. Like all that is super dope. How is that like not a good well produced? I'm not saying it's not dope. I'm saying it's simple. Simple can be well, dope. You take it a second. Okay, but you listen to trash rappers all the time. Yeah. I mean, they they rap simple all the time. A uh, trap beat that's just tick 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 is is simple. Like yeah, I can make that in my on, sure. my on my computer too. <laughs> yes, but what I'm saying is that style was back then. We will never see that again. It will never be brought in. No one wants to emulate it. No one's going to go back that far. The only way you would go back that far is if you're looking for something specific that you're trying to grab from them. But more than likely not, because there's so many other examples. Music has progressed so much past that that you're fine. You don't need it. So we lines all the time. Yeah, yeah. The the, the second MC has been used a bunch. Um, and then the even like uh, what was the the bar? Um, uh, I'm a, uh, your five dollar uh, um, your five dollar do I'm a million dollar uh, man or whatever stuff like that. That was on that was on uh, um, well, wake up songs or one of those songs. It was on one of, one of the songs on this. I was like, oh, I I never, I never did that that line before it was on the wrong songs. Uh, but uh, yeah, um. Like no, that's what you said that you you a five dollar uh whatever I'm a million dollar Mac or whatever or something like that. But that that's from yeah, I was I was surprised. Like I said, they had lines that have been quoted. Oh, like a trivia question. It's okay, dude. Like right. that's fine. That's fine. I mean, that's like watching a player who got their move from Dr. J and then they did it and then they got better and better, like Oh wow! I'm gonna copy this guy, but he actually got it from Dr. J. Like, okay, so what? It's cool. See, it but this is my, this is the thing about okay. So when we talk about this, the word classic, when we talk about classic albums. My thing is, see, with music, I don't. Okay, see, you. I feel like I have a very good philosophy than you, because you are saying like, because uh, we have a different sound now, it is somehow evolved or better. And to me, it's all I hear is that it's different. Like I just hear, I don't hear this as bad or lower quality. I hear this as different sound. So yeah, then, yeah. it's definitely lower quality to me, in my opinion. But nah, see, I think that lower quality aspect makes me like it more because it's uh, it's more of a pure hip hop. It's almost like the the uncut. Like it's like you get that. I feel like nothing but like you have a real DJ. That's really scratching. Yeah. That's really making these records. And these dudes is really rapping to like hyper party up almost. Like it's only right. for that reason. It's not it's not to stunt on flex on how great my bar or how much money I got. It's not to flex on how gangsta I am. It's not for nothing but we gonna get this party hype. That's what we here for. Our DJ is the best. Your DJ sucks. You a sucker MC. And that that's it. Like that's all it is too. And so I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean they, had, I really they had positive messages throughout it too. Like they had yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but I mean, I but I really like that aspect. It, it's something that is is different and lost. I would say uh, too many people, and you have some rappers that still that still focus in that way, like a Busta Rhymes, maybe, or some other people like that. But a lot of people are focused on how I can say how much name brand designer shit I got, um, and how I can tell you how many people I shot. Um, you know, I mean, they talk about clothes and stuff like that. Like they, they talk about uh, um, the clothes. What they say on uh, rock box? They, they, uh, Calvin Klein. Or don't don't like Calvin Klein. Uh, he's not a friend of mine or whatever. Yeah, like they, they talk about different the different stuff. Like I felt like okay. So in contrast to the 
Kendrick we talk about, I feel like I could really hear their personality. I feel it was them. They talk about being in school, whatever, St. John, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. uh, talk about their credit. They talk about whatever. They talk about, you know, uh, how they dream the world would be or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. I felt like I hear their personality. And then I love the, them going back and forth and they're just like yelling and like, it's just hype. I, I, it just sounds fun. And I feel like it's full of personality. To me, I, I, I like I said, I, I, I really was surprised because I felt like I thought that I was going to end up feeling like the impression. I, I really thought that I would listen to this and be like, man, these people can't rap nowhere near as good as the rappers I like or the rappers I, I, I listen to. That's the first gold record in hip hop. And I was trying to see how old they were when this album came up. Um, You're talking about being in college, so they, they, they got to be in their 20s. Yeah, he did say you go to John Jay University. No, no, St. John's University. Yeah, St. John's. <laughs> That's the same place you'll feel never with two legs. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, none of this don't mean nothing to me, dog. I understand what you're saying. It is a classic, but it is a classic for the back in the day. You don't ever need to revisit it. See, that's see, that's to me, that's the opposite of my definition of classic. Like when we talk about classic, when we talk about classic cars, they're cars that you still want. That's not true. Nope. There's that not classic that from the seventies, eighties that I would ever want. Never. Okay, Nothing. maybe you don't want it, but when people talk call it, like say this is a love, classic yeah. Camaro or whatever, you know, it's classic whips that I would love. To have. Yeah, people yeah, want to drive classic whips. Yeah. So when when we talk call an album classic, to me it should be something that I, I was still want to listen to or other people still has listening value, entertainment value today. Classic movie, we talk about it. It should be, it should have entertainment value today, you know. Like anything, anything we call classic, I feel like should have entertainment. I don't agree. I don't agree. Classic to me defines a time period, uh, impact, like we say, impact in that time because nothing, almost nothing is impactful forever. Um, so it was a classic. In this time, if someone came up to me and I'm like, oh, I want to be a hip hop historian, blah, blah, blah. okay, yes, go listen to Run DMC. But if you just like rap music or you want to become a rapper, I'm not going to say, hey, go back and do your homework. Run DMC started it. I'm like, you don't have to do that. That's no, thing. no, you don't have to. You don't have to know history to learn anything, though. I mean, that's the, I don't like that. that you don't, I don't have to know. I don't have to know any history to. I, I mean, chemistry is my degree. I didn't. I didn't have to learn about. Uh, you know, the old chemists. I don't have to. You know, who cares about that? I just have to know how to apply the facts that we know today. Today. I don't need to know um, the history. Nah, man. To me, you gotta, know the, you gotta know the pure, uncut hip hop. You gotta understand where it came from. You gotta understand what it's about. But you're saying that for the love of it. You're saying that for the love of, of the of the of the history that you love. But it's not. It is not required for me to rap to learn the history of rappers. That's not. It's no, not but I mean, it's not required for these people to learn how to rap either. I mean, they just get on the mic go <laughs> over the same. <laughs> Beat and then they call it a they call it a tight song. I mean, uh, what do I what do I, what do I know about that? Yeah, man? so that's what I'm saying. This, this comes comes into like a, a, a education f- f- philosophy argument, but uh, I mean, so I, you know that that rabbit hole. But I'm saying, I I will I, the point you're saying, Brian. Said, I just feel like you can say that about anything. You are you want to be a poker player, but you don't need to know the history of poker to. Do that, you know? Uh, yes, sort of, kind of, but the way I see it, like, all right, so if you're going to be great at something, there's a difference between being average at something and being great. If you're going to be average at it, then you just go out there and do it off of your God gifted abilities or whatever minimum is required to get to do it, right? And then to be great, you go back and look at other greats and say, okay, they did it this way. How can I adapt on that or add that to a part of my game and become better? Like Dr. So, J or Run DMC. Yes, but you don't have to go that far anymore. 
There's too much time in between but, now. But, okay. Yes. Uh, as far I as that's part, most, you don't have to go that far back. I get that. Yeah. I was going to say, as far as most things go, I think the 90s is probably about the turning point in a lot of things to where that's where you all need, where you need to go. So, okay, but this is, so this is the thing. This, like, like you said, this hip hop is so, like, it's so, it's focused on fun, on the party. It's focused on positive messaging. It's not focused on, you know, uh, I don't it's, care about positive about, messaging at all. Well, so, zero. Okay, so then that was a fundamental. That's, right. that's an important thing. I mean, that's, that's part of it. So this Houdini album was the same, and that, that's one of the things. Um, they was the same type of stuff. They, they're rapping. I think they're rapping is better. Um, but you know, the focus is fun. My DJ better than your DJ, and you are not a good MC like me. Uh, you know, it's that type of stuff. So. It's a little bit different, you know, in that regard. It's just a different focus on the, the MCs of today. As time has changed and things like that. I mean, money obviously is a huge influence in everything in America, but especially hip hop today. People, it's really a lot about how much money you got, how much money you got, how much money you got, how many designers can you wear. When hip hop didn't start off that way, it was very much anti that. So it's like, yeah. yo, we, we don't need these people. We don't want these people. This is hip hop. We do our thing. Um, you know, certain stuff is not not of the culture. You know, there's things that we adopt. They adopted and became part of the culture, like certain types of shoes, things like that. And yeah, we made and those those hip hop artists made those brands big. It wasn't the other way around. Really. Yeah, like I, I I love like even so even like because even like their 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 rhymes. You know, we were talking about them not being the best rappers, but like even like they said on on rock boxes, uh, they say, uh, um, uh, it, it said nothing too deep or nothing dense, and all our rhymes make a lot of sense. You know, <laughs> so move your butt to the cut, run them up. Uh, you're not in a rut. You know, like that's like you know, it's simple. Like that's what they, you know, they make it clear what they're about. They're not trying to be complicated. It wants to be. Simple and fun and understood. And so I just, I, I wanted just to lead us to another conversation is what is important? And because I think this is kind of the conversation we're having. Oh, first of all, before we move on, what, what did you guys rate this? I would say I love this album. I had fun listening to it. Um, there was like one song that I would skip. It's a nine song, quick listen. One song I would skip, and then one song is just DJ. So seven songs that I, I loved that I, I thought were amazing. Um, so yeah, I, so you skip it, uh, 30 or whatever. Like, no, no, I like 30. I thought 30 was fun. I thought 30 which was you skip fun. It? That's what I'm saying. Which one you skip let, me, it? let me go uh, back to the track. Let's see real quick. Uh, so I think the second, the second crush group one. I mean, uh, yeah, the, the, is, that, is that what you skipping? That might be it. The, or the first one. The second one is Sucker MCs, right? One of the, one of the two. You know, second, yeah, the first, uh, yeah, Crush Groove 1 is Sucker MCs, but it comes second on the album. Um, okay. I think, no, no, I actually, no, I actually like all these songs. I really, I, there's none of them that I think are bad. It just, the only real skip I would say is Jay's Game, which is just the one that uh, is yeah. here. I like, I like all these songs. Not yeah. all as much as each other, but I like all of them. All of them. Yeah, uh, I like all these songs, and it's hard to be, it's hard to, to, to hate on, like, Hard times, rock box, it's like that. Yeah, and Jam Master J, I guess, or like, like stupid classic, constantly quoted, sampled, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I thought Thirty Days was fun. Like, you know, you were turn turn me back in Thirty Days. I thought that was funny. I thought it was funny and fun. And then Wake Up was, like I said, positive and fun to me too. So yeah, I don't have too much. I don't have too much hate. Um, for this, this one was. I thought uh, what you call them, I was going to, you know, I thought it was going to be the first one I thought was going to be the weakest one. Um, but Kings of Rock is the second one, right? Mm -hmm. And then Raise of Hell. Um, yeah. So I don't know when they had a weak one because those are regarded better. Um, King, uh, so I got to listen to all, I got to go back and listen to all of them. It, wanted me to, it made me want to go listen to all the rest of the album. Right <laughs> yeah, there. yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I agree. So next week we can, we can talk more about that in the house. But I, I would love to, yeah, talk about 
Um, I do think that the Crush Groove 2 has got to be the, the weakest song to me. Um, the, I want y'all to listen to that. I want you to listen to that Houdini a little bit. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it. I, I want to. So when I was asking which song, which album I want to start with, I, I said Houdini. I was like, y'all want to listen to that. In, those, in that, like I said, I wanted to have a play, uh, something to compare it to in the year. So the Houdini, like I said, there's better rapping on that. Yeah. And then you got all these other, and the same, same thing, classics. Do you think that, that do you think, escape. so not, not uh, like I said, this is the only Houdini album I ever listened to is Escape. Do you think uh, the, the, um, the production is as good as? So that's the thing that's so funny. That one uses so if Run DMC is is like with that 80s rock influence, it's got like a disco type influence. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you've heard these songs though, like Freaks Come Out at Night. Yeah, of course, yeah. Of course, that's a classic, but but that's a whole different sound than what Run DMC is doing. Yeah. So that's where you have like the the interesting comparison of the of of, of the two artists, because again, it's 84. Hip hop's not big. Right? Um, Freeze Come Out at Night is on there. Big Mouth is on there. Friends is on there. See, I listened so, to Big Mouth, and yeah, I, I thought it was just Mouth. okay. I, 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 don't, I don't love this, that song, yeah. like I said, yeah. like that. So friends, it's, I know it's friends. Friends. But it also only has, like I said, this is another album that's got a bunch of DJ scratching songs. Um, so it's like eight songs, seven songs, something like that. Um, and I don't, I don't like it as much as the Run DMC. But there's better rapping on it. And okay. of course, Freaks Come Out at Night is super yeah. classic. Of course. Friends is super classic. Friends is super classic, yeah. <laughs> Bryce needs to go listen to these. So, but Bryce, okay, so you, you waiting on this, but these songs, I mean, you said the production is old or archaic or, or whatever, you don't need to listen to it. But these albums, I mean, these songs come on a bunch of different, um, uh, it's like that comes on a bunch of different movies and stuff like that. That beat comes on, on stuff, and or like, it's being redone a bunch of times. Yeah. No, uh, that's fine and all. It's a classic once again. <laughs> but it's cool, bro. Like uh, I'm never gonna play this again. So but Houdini, freaks come out at night. Was that what I, Houdini? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my type of shit. So maybe I'll listen to the album. Okay. Like that boy disco style. So that might be fire for me. Maybe I just love the rock music then. Because I like rock. I like, I like, I just rock like music. The, that aspect because yeah. it's the guitar and then they'd be always like, oh, you know, so I like that aspect. But the Houdini was interesting because it's a different type of production. Right. But you still got, it's the same year. You still got that same, you know, still simple type of rapping. But I think Houdini is better. And then you have, um, you know, some other super classic songs on there mixed with some other songs that maybe you don't remember or haven't heard. Uh, so I was surprised to listen to that one because that same thing. I got the, I was like, oh man, I want to listen to more of their music now. Um, and I listened to Grandmaster Flash. And the only song I could still mess with from that, that first album was White Lines. And everybody, y'all know that one, right? I don't, so, I don't know. Oh, you know, White Lines. Oh, yeah. yeah. Trippin' Snoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Some some of these old songs, man, are, are great. I love so it. I, got, I, got, I was so excited to, to listen to these old songs, man. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm excited too. So I, I think it's gonna be fun to do. So, uh, what would you rate it, Bryce? Let's start with you because I know you're gonna have a low rating. So. All right. Sorry, my bad. I'll try to listen to Houdini. Uh, <laughs> what you trying to listen to right now? Yeah, I'll just try to see these songs that. B was naming to see if I heard him, but yeah, I have. But that's the thing, like, oh, these songs are classic. They're going to always be classic. My great grandparents and any party you went to at your grandparents' house, they played these great great grandparents. My great grandparents. <laughs> this is 84, man. This is your. Yeah. Uh, I was <laughs> doing this already adults and I kids yeah, at this time. I would never listen to this. <laughs> my parents <laughs> was in high school when the song oh, came, well, came up. My grandparents, I don't know about great grandparents, but my grandparents, whenever they would have parties at their house, would definitely play these type of songs. That's no, how I know all no, about no, no. old music. I mean, you, you missed it. You missed it. They played Frank Sinatra or something like that. No, I've, never heard of, I've never honestly heard of Frank Sinatra song. Maybe, you never? Oh, maybe at a restaurant before, but 
I've never listened to Frank Sinatra. But you know like, a couple uh, Frank Sinatra songs, man. They always play that yeah, one. Not, uh, they always sing that that New York song. Uh, yeah. That's the only one. That's what I was gonna say. That's the only one I've ever heard. Um, but like, just family get together. It might not be my grandma playing it, but it was at her house. She was hosting an event, whatever. So whoever was playing the music, DJ, I would hear all of these songs. So that's how I know them. That's why I have an '80s playlist on my phone that I listen to, but it's all like R&B '80s, no rap that I love. Um, so I mean, the album was a seven, like on a. It's a seven, but it's a classic seven. It's not. <laughs> that's a, not a thing. No, that's no, not no, a thing. No, no, you no, no, say it's not there, clear. man. It's hard to. No, 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 no. I like it. I, just look, man. It's hard to read the stuff in the context. So. I don't know how, yeah. I mean, which how you feel is how I would assume most people that are younger feel when they go back to this type of stuff. So to me, I get excited about it because to me, it's more of, like I said, I think it's more of a a pure thing because this is way before I saw this in the music. I mean, I, I don't think I, I had a, a little boombox in like when I was like four or five. So even I, would, this was considered old when I was starting to listen to music as a little child in like 89 and 90. Yeah. So, I don't know how you know um, how anybody that's that's born in two thousand or up would would think about this. I, I would think that they feel like this is ancient. I mean, similar to you know, kids I'm gonna play, work with. I'm gonna play it for my, my kids in school and see what they and see what they say. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it. I'm playing it tomorrow. I was gonna <laughs> do the same thing. Honestly, I was thinking about doing the same thing because hey, you know you can play it without worrying about it. Yeah, um, there's no because they don't start cursing on that one, and they curse on the next one more, um, and and subsequent albums. So it's not this, you know, put it on, see how they feel about sucking MCs. But yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm excited to see what they what they say. Uh, but I I the, look, I think this album is is great. It's great as uh, I mean, like I said, it's it's short. Uh, but I would give it a nine, nine and a half. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to find flaws, even though the rapping is poor, as we would, you know, as we would describe it. Um, but that's what I'm saying. That's not a real nine, because you're not putting it above any album that you have rated a nine today. You're not gonna, or yes, I would. Today. I would. No, no, I, I think this is better than the Let me put I've never. I, I think this is the person who gave me eighty percent of my music taste, and you've never played any of these songs for me. No, I. I told you, I don't. You know, we play these all the time. Like that. We do play these hits, the hits, the Run DMC hits in my house. So Rockbox, like my kids hear Rockbox. That's not even like a weird thing at all. That'll come on in a random mix. I might be in the mood, but I also like when I'm in my car, I listen to the the LL Cool J Rock the Bell station. Then I go to the the Hip Hop uh, Nation. Then I go to Shade Forty Five. Then I go to the '90s um, R and B and Hip Hop station. So I mix it up a lot. So I do listen to some of these old songs from time to time. I like them. Um, and they hit you when you're in a certain mood, you know, when you end up on one of the more upbeat type of mood. Yeah, and, and for context for the, for viewers, because uh, probably these you three years apart. We got like, so B, B is okay. nine years older than me, so we, we got a, a, a range here. But we not that far apart. So, and then secondly, I can start going back to old music until I moved to college, like, I, so when we were living together when in high school, I listened to what the music that was current at that time that I liked at that time. I never went back to all these. I never cared to. It's the mentality so, of a yeah. person in high school. Yeah, you know? You know, this stuff is not going to appeal to you when you're younger. I didn't go back until I was in college um, to go back and really go and investigate, learn more about um, the Run DMC. So, I mean, we're talking about early 2000s. Um, I got to college, so then I said, "Hey, I want to know more about hip hop. I love hip hop. That's all I'm doing." So and then we had full access to that's when what you call them downloads was you know the thing. So I was like, "I'm about to build up my my catalog." So I was downloading every album I could find from basically every old school artist. So Run D so Run DMC is one of those artists that I did check out BC Boys um, and some other ones at that time. Just so I thought I I could argue because I used to get on the internet and argue on message boards about hip hop mm. all day, basically when people still go on Reddit things like that. So yeah, I, I did on two dope say boys. Say something about old artists and I didn't know. I would be like, oh yeah. man, I gotta look these artists up. I don't even I don't even know what Raising Hell is. You know what I mean? I had to yeah. listen listen to it, 
and go back and listen to those albums. So I knew who Cool G Rap was and stuff like that because that's stuff that I had missed. Um, just at, at my age. Man, I got eighties R and B over eighties rap any day, dog. That's, yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair. Eighties R and B is great. Uh, I mean, eighties R and B. I play that in the, the R&B house R&B. all the time. It's not the best R and B, but I love it. I think all the little techno sounds in there. They was going crazy back then. You might like that Houdini, man, because this yeah, it's a lot of that. You know, it's a lot more of that than the Hunter Red DMC. It's a whole different vibe. I, I I love this Run DMC. I, I I like I said when the the because when when my art, Run DMC album came off, then a couple of Houdini songs played, Big Mouth played for sure. I just wasn't you know, and that's that's just a small sample, but it's not the same vibe as Run DMC. I love this. So when you say I'm I'm raining unfairly, I just really enjoyed this. You could ask my wife. You know, I was in here dancing because oh, I was cooking and I had the music on in my headphones and I'm dancing, you know, cooking and I'm, I'm excited. I, I thought it was fun. Like I said, I was I cleaning it up too, but I had it on. I was like, <laughs> this is hitting right now. Hitting yeah. Right now. Yeah. yeah. I was so, on the couch, like, whoo, can this album be over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll so, get up. So that, that leads us to, I want to talk about what do you, all right, so, well, B, you didn't say what, what you rated. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna have to give it the same type of thing. There's only the the the, the second Crush Groove song that I would say I'm like I'm cool on, but out of the eight songs or seven out of eight songs, I would not be cool with one. And some of them are just so super classic that it's hard for me to ever say anything bad about it. Um, it's got to be a, a nine or a ten. Um, I mean, I just don't know how to rate it otherwise. It's it's hard for me because, like I said, when I listen to it, I just hear like that the purest thing. Like I love hip hop, man. I get so excited about just this. Just knowing how these dudes made this stuff and stuff like that, like knowing how Jam Master J is like making these beats and what kind of crude stuff they're using to make the beats and how how, how short the sample time is and all of those aspects of it, just I, I love that stuff. Yeah, I'm saying that's better to me than to me than a rapper any day. I'd rather listen to a DJ cut and do all of that stuff than listen to them. To the rappers, rappers. Well, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of the DJ cut. I mean, on the yeah, that's my favorite part. I love DJs actually DJ. Okay, so then you like the Jam Master J song, and yeah, I'll listen to the DJ cut all day. All right. Well, then, uh, then I want to then that leads us to another discussion of what what makes a good album to you guys because listening to these two albums, I feel like. What I think one thing that we're all gonna agree on is production is the most important part. Oh, I mean, it's, it, you, you can't have a good song without a good, a good production of some sort. It's gotta have a good beat Ooh. or something. I don't agree. I don't think y'all no. agree with that. I definitely don't think Eric agrees with that. There's no <laughs> way you agree with that. Yeah. So what's oh, the song man. with the bad beat that you love? Hey, me personally, I think production matters more. I'll, I won't listen to a song if, the, if they got something crazy going on in the background. But that's how he's saying. That's what we just said. I think that's how everyone nah, feels. I don't think so, dog. So uh, give me the song. I don't believe like, y'all. I you think think I that that oh, you think that we really like songs with bad beats? Yeah. Y'all would listen to a mid. It don't have to be bad, like, because oh, no, it's yeah. a great album. I listen to a mid beat. I listen to a beat that's just okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's a certain level of If it's bad off rip, you're like, I don't want to hear it. Turn it off right now. <laughs> but the, I'll listen to a song with a great beat and bad rapping before you listen to a song with amazing rapping and a bad beat. I feel well, like. we just heard that. Oh, you I'm didn't just... like it. We just listened to songs with good beats <laughs> and bad rapping. And you didn't like it. Yeah. They were just said you don't like it. Good. They're not good. <laughs> they the are good. good. The beats are good. They're good. Don't hate on Jim SG. Rest in peace. They're good in context, but. They're not. No, not in context. They're good. Oh, just no, good. See, I, think, I think they're straight good. Yeah, I, I think, think that's good. Agree. Like I can rock. I can. I can write to rap, rock box right now. I can rap on that right now. That's the point. It's super easy. It's super simple. That's what. Well, well, first of all, I got bars. Anybody... Like, my bars is hard. Okay. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I think there's, there's several things going on here. One, I don't think that um, complexity is is equals quality. One. Correct. I, I think I think that's one of the things with uh, to be not butterfly. I feel like I don't think that just because an album has a more maybe a, a more complex like theme or something or or message that it's somehow 
the higher quality. Um, I don't think those two things equate, and I also don't think that enjoyment necessarily equates to quality either. Like, and that's the that's the thing. I, I love this album. I enjoy it so much. Um, I think the beats are quality, but I think you're saying you don't enjoy them, and so you think they're bad. But I don't think that's the same thing. Um, now the rhymes, I enjoy the rhymes, but I'm not going to sit here and say that they're quality rhymes. I'm not going to say like they're great writing in the album. Uh, not you. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think that they're enjoyable. So those two things are different, you know. That that's so I, I don't know. I don't yeah, it's agree. Funny. It's insane to me because the beats are as simple as anybody could write. Like that's oh, not. They're not simple. You keep saying they're simple. They're not. Because they simple. are simple. You, they are simple. Why? They have why simple, simple because everything was simple back then. Every you see, you just, you're, you're, bi- you're being biased yeah. to the time. You're being biased. Hold on, I mean, I just don't know what you mean. I'm what what do you mean by bi- simple? Because I listen to like a, like a Rock Marcy raps over, all the time over just like a certain loop of a song, and that is not simple. I mean, talk about and very I don't, simple, stripped down. It's like, like a movie score type thing, and he's yeah. he's rapping off of that, like you know. Yeah. So I'm not sure what you mean by when you say simple, like that is that's gonna be a much more stripped down sound than a run DMC where you got the do and then you know, and then it's and then the guitar and like yeah, like oh yeah. Like I don't know and scratching on top of that, like all kinds of stuff is going on with the beat. Yeah, I'm not sure why you're saying it. Like what is the simple aspect that you're saying? You think it's simple to find the pocket to rap in? Yes, I feel like okay. that for sure. Oh, that's well, they, they use it a simple flow anyway. They they yeah. they they can find exactly. they say like two words every every beat like it's not I hard to find. I don't think that's because piece. of the DJ. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what causes them to be simple if the rapper back then wasn't advanced enough to do a more advanced beat or no, it what it was, but. It. Nobody was rapping. Like, dude, you got to listen to the progression. Nobody was rapping like that. That's why yeah. I'm keeping it in context. It's like, it's great for its time. But, but it's not the beat. You keep comparing. You keep saying the rapping. I think you're, you're confused. Okay, so the beats or the beats. Somebody made a beat. And then you rap to it. Now, the, in that time, the goal was to just make the party hype. And you're just supposed to be like hyping, you're, like, hyping up the, the, DJ. the music. Yeah, the DJ yeah. and just and just making it more hype. I so they that. just come up with energy adding to the beat. It's not the same yeah. as you know I like thought. When, yeah, like where it's he's the, the like you know, when I listen to people like Black Thought or, or Lupe, a lot of times they're the star. The beat is secondary. Um, it just has to be good enough to, you know, for them to, you know, spit on and and that's it. And I agree. it's not the same. We are on the same page. I'm telling you that if Black Star, or I mean Black Thought was to get on that beat, there's only so much he can do with it because of how simple it is. No, I disagree. Because that's I think those same beats have been used so many times. He would all the time he would rap them. If you Google yeah, if they you add, YouTube, people rapping over Sucker MC, you're gonna find a gang of people rapping over Sucker MC. Of all types, you're gonna hit different flows on it. I don't think it's because of the beat. I don't think the beat is the reason. I think it's because in 84, complex flows and stuff was just not a thing. Yeah, I mean, that's that starts with G-Rap and, and uh, Rockin. Rockin, right? Yeah. So, that's not, that's not, that's just not happening at this time. It was good to see Rockin yeah. at the uh, thing, too. He got yeah. a shot. No, 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 no. Yeah, jump on the side. Yeah. 